Alright, so we have another battle today, and yeah, you will notice that my mic quality is far better than usual. Yeah, I've got a new mic now. Well, actually, no, it's not a new one at all. It's actually the old one I used to use, but without the static sounds in the background. Yeah! So anyways, he's leading with the Jirachi, and I'm leading with my Hippowdon. This here is the team I've been using for laddering on the PO Dream World thingamy. So, I know this Jirachi's going to trick a scarf onto me or something, because lead Jirachi always does, it's always either scarf lead or whatever. So I do switch to the Nido King, which is the thing that I will have scarf tricked onto, because it doesn't mind that at all. And yeah, works out perfectly, so I go for Fire Blast, which was a bit of a dumb move, because he had a Heatran, but well, he's, he's eager to set up Stealth Rocks, and that helped out. So luckily he doesn't switch to his Heatran as I go for a Fire Blast, I was like, as soon as I clicked that I was like, oh shit. That was the wrong move, but luckily he went to Rotom instead. And my team uh, sort of struggles with Rotom, actually. In fact, it struggles with all water types. Yeah, I need to fix this team up. <laughs> so, yeah. I've got Natteray to take the water attacks, and that's about it. So he goes for a light screen on the Switch, and I'm surprised he's not like got light, light clay on it or anything. So, yeah, he's not a dual screen, he's just got light screen. And he's now going to switch back to his Jirachi to take the Leech Seed. Yeah, pretty smart strategy there by him. For a Cerebi guy, he was pretty good, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, by Cerebi standards. I've seen much better people on the ladders. Oh, not by much, though. So, anyway, uh, I switch Quagsire in now, and... He tricks again. Why did he trick again? <laughs> I don't know. But, oh well. So now I've got a life orb on Quagsire instead of uh, leftovers, and uh, Leech Seed means I will never be able to get those leftovers back. Not like it would trick anyway, now that, since he's got the leftovers. I mean, why would you do that? So anyway, here comes a Brilliant. Uh, uh, I switch back out to Nido King, which is the counter for it. So yeah. Because Sword Sense, and I know I can just. I know I can launch something at him, but. Uh, not gonna go for Fire Blast because I know he's got the Heatran, as I said before. So go for the Ice Beam and uh, should have gone for the Earth Power actually, but oh well. Worked out. I thought he might, you know, just stay in and spore, but no. Of course not. Why would you? So here then comes the Quagsire. And uh, I forgot what happens now. No, I haven't. Actually, yeah, no. Fire Blast misses. So yeah. Didn't really matter anyway, but. Actually, it probably would have done quite a bit because this is actually just de defensive Quagsire. So, yeah, that's probably not the best idea. Especially with boiling water. Maybe I should switch its EVs around, make it a bit more specially bulky. But, you know, still worked quite well so far. So he goes back to the Rotom, gets up another light screen, and uh, knowing that, I'm going to go for Toxic and poison that Rotom. Yes. It's always good to poison it. Because Rotom's bulky and water type now, because the uh, Rotom thingy, which means uh, it takes on the element that it uh, takes from the thing, but loses ghost. And that makes more sense than having ghost and electric type still. Means it can get stab on the special move it gets. <laughs> Although it's a bit of a troll for electric flying air Rotom, which now has double immunity to ground, which makes no sense whatsoever. So the balloon comes back in, and I'm going to have to switch back out to Neo King because there is nothing Quagsire can do, and I'm not willing to take a seed bomb or a bullet seed to the face. So yeah, he does go for the spore this time, and uh, actually <laughs> surprised to see that he's taking damage from Toxic Orb. I was thinking maybe at first it was just an ordinary poison heal sword stancer, but no, he's got Technician. And for some reason has kept the Toxic Orb, which means he's going to die pretty quick. But he goes for Mac Punch. Uh, does quite a lot, actually, but that's probably because of the Sword Stance. So now I wake up, go for the Ice Beam, and that is Brilloom gone. So yeah, gone pretty well so far. I was thinking, yeah, maybe I can win this. And of course I'm going to win. So he comes in, in comes Waraviel, which is actually Scarfed, and I didn't know that. So I just went for the Ice Beam, and... Uh, got out sped <laughs> and I didn't even know it had higher base speed until I looked and thought, saw it was base 91 which is quite high but in this meta it means nothing because the mole will outspeed and destroy it 
the mole rules all, as you'll see. So in comes my Gliscor, and he just does not, and I'm going to get sub up, because I know that he can't stay in, because he's locked into Earthquake, and therefore we'll be able to do absolutely nothing. And physical attacks don't phase Gliscor anyway. So I've got Toxic Orb on this, because it's Poison Heal, as that Brilliant should have been, but... <laughs> So, I can put the taunt there, just stopping like going for pain splits and stuff later on. And this is a bit stally, so you don't really have to pay attention here because Shadow Sneak is like going to take three hits to take out the sub in the first place. And I do not have Ice Punch on this thing, that would make so much more sense. Although, maybe. Did this thing even have pressure? I don't even remember. But. It would make much more sense to just bring over your Gen 4 Dust Noir. It doesn't get anything now that it didn't get before. At least I don't think it does. No, probably not. But oh well. His choice. His loss. So anyways, the sub is now finally broken after like three hits. And I can get off an Earthquake. And uh, I think I'll switch here or maybe I'll stay in. I don't know. Yeah. Oh well. So, uh, yeah. Poison Heal. Pretty cool. So anyways, uh goes back to the Rotom, knowing I'm going to go for Earthquake, and Levitate comes up with a message. Pretty weird. So anyways, he uh, heals up, gets poisoned. Both poisoned, yeah. And I'm going to go back out to Nattery because uh, I predict the water attack coming, and yeah, it's pretty obvious he's going to go for the Hydro Pump. And it doesn't do very much. Not at all effective. <laughs> so now... Um, I think I'm just going to get some more seeds up here. Maybe i go for the Power Whip. Yeah, I haven't watched this over, as you can tell. I can't be bothered. <laughs> I've only just got around to narrating this after ages. So anyways, uh, Dust Noir comes in, takes a Power Whip to the face, and... Yeah, it gets a crit and takes it down. Yes, brilliant. And uh, I think I've got like 5, 2, 5, 3 here. Doing pretty well anyway. Well, he's a cerebral guy. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, now I know he's going to go for another fire blast, or at least I think I do. I think he is, yeah. Because for overheat, which is the next best thing. And wh why has he got overheat and fire blast on the same heat trying to. I'm pretty sure he does. I'm pretty sure he used fire blast earlier. But, anyways, doesn't make much difference. So, at this point, I'm thinking maybe he's, like, choice in some way, and he's just locked himself into overheat for some dumb reason. I thought I could take another one, but no. So,. Anyway, in comes the Mole, which will definitely outspeed and probably KO, but I'm thinking he's going to switch out now for some reason. I don't know why. I just assumed. No, I didn't. I earthquaked. I didn't assume anything, actually. I... But here's where I go for the Sword Stance, and he obviously missed the Balloon message, so he went for an earthquake and didn't do anything. Yeah, a lot of people tend to miss the Balloon, even though it clearly says on screen. Whatever it is, carrying balloon. So, anyways, I just take that Warrior down in two hits because I can sword stance up and then go for another one. And Rock Slide is going to take Rotom down with the help of the the thingy, you know, the rock, the sword stance. Yeah, I don't know how I had trouble for remembering that. So, I go for Earthquake on this final one, Heatran, and turns out it has a Sugar Berry, but that makes absolutely no difference whatsoever because it's a super powered, adamant thing. Yeah, I messed up a bit on here. It's not supposed to be adamant, it's supposed to be jolly, but adamant doesn't make much difference on Wi-Fi because yeah, it doesn't need to be jolly because people aren't going to be using lots of moles because they don't like it. So anyway, that was good game to Mo Mobanti, I think it was. I didn't say that before, I was too busy talking about my new mic. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. I haven't really got much else to say, just uh, I'm a bit lazy, so don't expect any more battles for a while. <laughs> Yeah, maybe some will come soon, but don't put your hopes up. I'm, yeah, I'm not that kind of guy to upload regularly, but you never know. So anyway, just look forward to whatever comes in the future. <laughs> uh, and probably from now on I will be using this new mic. Yeah, pretty helpful having this, but yeah. Oh, I'm getting sidetracked now, I'm, I'm just rambling on. I'm, I'm just going to go.